Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Gadget Flow channel. Today, we're diving into the ultimate showdown in display technology for 2025, OLED vs QLED. Whether you're a home theater enthusiast, a casual binge watcher, or a serious gamer, knowing the differences between these two top-tier TV formats is key to making the right choice for your setup. In this video, we'll break it all down, from the core tech and performance to real-world use cases, pricing, and long-term value, to help you decide which one truly deserves a place in your living room. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more awesome reviews. Let's begin with the heart of the matter, the display technology itself. OLED stands for Organic Light Emitting Diode, and it's a fundamentally different approach to how a TV generates an image. In OLED panels, each individual pixel emits its own light when electricity is applied. This is what we call a self-emissive display. What does that mean in practice? It means that when a pixel needs to show black, it simply turns off completely. No light, no glow, just absolute darkness. This gives OLED TVs their legendary contrast ratios and their ability to produce perfect blacks, something that traditional LCD panels, no matter how advanced, simply can't replicate. On the other hand, QLED, short for Quantum Dot Light Emitting Diode, is essentially a high-end version of LED LCD technology. Instead of using self-lighting pixels, QLED TVs rely on a powerful LED backlight, which shines through a layer of quantum dots. These quantum dots are microscopic particles that emit precise colors when hit by light, allowing QLED TVs to display a very wide color gamut and produce images that are bright, colorful, and extremely punchy. Unlike OLEDs, QLEDs don't turn individual pixels on or off, but through a combination of local dimming zones and high peak brightness, they simulate high contrast very effectively. Now let's talk about one of the most noticeable aspects of TV picture quality, brightness and contrast. QLED TVs are designed to shine, literally. Thanks to their powerful backlighting systems, they're capable of reaching exceptionally high levels of brightness. This makes them an ideal choice for rooms with lots of ambient light, whether it's a sunny living room, a wide open loft, or even a kitchen TV mounted near windows. QLEDs cut through glare like a champ and maintain vibrant images even during broad daylight. OLEDs, by contrast, tend to have lower peak brightness. But what they may lack in nits, they more than make up for in contrast. Because OLED pixels can switch completely off, they deliver true blacks, not dark grays or muted tones, but actual black. This creates a striking contrast between light and dark areas on the screen, and gives content a cinematic, almost three-dimensional feel. You'll notice it most in dark rooms or during nighttime viewing. A scene of a candle flickering in a pitch-black room. On an OLED, it looks breathtaking. When it comes to color performance, both OLED and QLED bring a lot to the table, but they do so in slightly different ways. OLED displays are often praised for their natural, lifelike color tones. Because of their contrast and black levels, colors seem to pop effortlessly without needing to be oversaturated. Skin tones appear warm and realistic, while shadows and highlights retain subtle detail. OLEDs excel in delivering those moody, atmospheric scenes that require nuanced shading. QLED, on the other hand, takes a more vibrant approach. Thanks to the quantum dot layer, QLED TVs can hit higher color volume, especially at brighter levels. This means colors remain rich and punchy even when the screen is extremely bright, perfect for animated films, sports broadcasts, and HDR content in daylight. In a bright room, QLEDs often appear more vivid simply because they can push more light through those colors. Motion handling is another key area especially for fast-moving content like action movies, sports, or gaming. OLED once again has the upper hand here. Since each pixel responds individually and instantly, motion appears crisp and blur-free. There's no smearing or lag between frames, which can make all the difference in a close-up football pass or a fast-paced video game. QLEDs have improved significantly in this department, with many models using high refresh rates and motion smoothing algorithms to reduce blur. 
However, the backlight and pixel lag can still occasionally introduce minor ghosting or motion artifacts, particularly in lower-end or mid-range models. Gamers, listen up, because your experience with either panel will depend heavily on a few critical metrics, response time, input lag, and long-term durability. OLED TVs are widely regarded as the go-to choice for premium gaming. Their ultra-low response times, often under a millisecond, make gameplay feel instantly responsive and smooth. Combine that with support for features like HDMI 2.1, variable refresh rate and auto-low latency mode, and you've got a near-perfect platform for console and PC gaming alike. If you're into competitive shooters, immersive RPGs, or graphically intense open-world games, OLED will deliver breathtaking visuals with pixel-perfect timing. However, OLED's Achilles heel is burn-in. While it's less of an issue now than it was a few years ago, the risk still exists, especially if you play games that leave static elements like health bars or minimaps on the screen for hours at a time. Over time, these static images can burn into the panel, leaving a faint ghost image behind. QLEDs, on the other hand, don't suffer from burn-in at all. They offer a more robust choice for gamers who want to leave a game paused for hours or play games with persistent UI elements. While their response times are a little higher, the difference is marginal for most casual gamers. And with more QLEDs now incorporating game-specific modes and faster refresh rates, they've become a solid option for gaming setups that also serve as daytime media hubs. Not all living rooms are created equal, and that's where viewing angles come in. OLED screens maintain color accuracy and contrast even when viewed from the sides. Whether you're lying on the couch, sitting on the floor, or watching with a group from various angles, the image remains consistent and immersive. There's no color washout or major brightness loss, just a clean, uniform image from edge to edge. QLEDs, particularly those with VA panels, tend to struggle in this area. If you're sitting directly in front of the screen, the image looks great. But as you move off-center, colors can begin to fade and black levels may shift toward gray. Some high-end QLEDs use special layer technologies to improve this, but OLED still leads when it comes to flexible viewing. So how do these technical differences translate into daily use? If you're a movie lover, a late-night binge-watcher, or someone who's building a dedicated home theater setup, OLED is your dream come true. The inky blacks, subtle color gradients, and cinematic contrast make movies come alive. It's like having a miniature IMAX in your living room, perfect for watching in the dark with a bowl of popcorn. Gamers who want absolute precision, fast response, and eye-popping HDR will also find OLED to be a game-changer, quite literally. Just remember to vary your content and take occasional breaks to avoid any burn-in risks. Now, if your TV is going in a busy, bright room where the whole family gathers throughout the day, QLED may be the better choice. It performs beautifully in natural light, resists reflections well, and holds up under constant use. It's also more worry-free for households with kids, long viewing sessions, or varied types of content. The final big factor in any TV decision? Price. QLED TVs generally offer more bang for your buck when it comes to screen size. You can often find a massive 75-inch QLED for the same price as a 55-inch OLED. That makes QLED an attractive choice for those wanting scale without a huge investment. It's also often more durable in high-use environments, with no risk of burn-in and potentially longer panel lifespan. OLED, on the other hand, commands a premium. But what you pay for, you get in quality. Every frame is more cinematic, more responsive, more refined. It's an investment in visual excellence, though it's worth noting that OLED prices have steadily come down over the past few years, making them more accessible than ever before. Let's take a moment to name some of 2025's standout models. You can find all the relevant links in the description. In the OLED corner, the LG G4 OLED continues to lead the pack with its gallery design and elite image processing. It's razor-thin, wall-mountable, and stunning in every sense. Sony's A95L also deserves mention, bringing the power of Quantum.OLED into the mix. 
For QLED fans, Samsung's QN90D is a flagship marvel. It boasts incredible peak brightness, refined local dimming, and Samsung's neural quantum processor for excellent upscaling. TCL's QM8 is also making waves as a value-forward QLED that doesn't skimp on performance. It's a great choice for buyers who want a big screen and premium features without the premium price tag. So, OLED or QLED? If your goal is to build a home theater or create a truly immersive viewing experience, OLED is the winner. Its unparalleled contrast, stunning motion clarity, and rich cinematic depth make it a dream for movies, games, and premium content. But if you're setting up a TV for everyday use, for family time, casual viewing, or in a space with a lot of light, QLED might be the smarter choice. It's brighter, more durable, more cost-effective, and built for real-world living rooms. In the end, the best TV for you isn't the one with the most technical wins, it's the one that fits your lifestyle, your space, and your expectations. Either way, one thing's for sure, with OLED and QLED leading the charge, the future of television looks absolutely brilliant. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel.